Thank you to the patrons for supporting the channel. Welcome back. Today, as voted on by my patrons, we're going to be covering Five Nights at Freddy's Lost Media. Now, I've got a lot of different stuff going on here. Some of it you probably have heard of before, some of it you probably haven't, and some that might not even exist. Before we get into it though, I just want to shout out my second channel, Sagan Hawks Auxiliary. I think keeping this channel's focus and quality consistent is really important, so weird sort of side project stuff you can find at Sagan Hawks Auxiliary. If you're just here for the retrospectives and Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, I wouldn't go subscribe, but if you're just interested in content that I make, uh, I would say give that a follow. I've been stockpiling some content over there before I announce it, so there's some Anorak videos, there's a Let's Play sort of thing that I did with one of my friends, and just a weird animation thing that I did, so if you're interested in just sort of me and weird side projects I might be working on, go give that a follow. Don't, <laughs> don't hit the police. <laughs> First, I want to say I'm not talking about unused content. There's plenty of that, including something that was more recently discovered. You know what? Fuck it. Let's talk about that first. Discovered by UG Barra Recharged. If you hold down 1 and 0 on your keyboard while in Ballora's room in sister location, for a certain period of time, this screen will appear. It's a random assortment of changing numbers. Most are completely random, and there seems to be no reason to think that they're decodable or some secret message. So what are they, and why did it take so long to find them? Or at least to find that they were accessible in-game? We're still waiting on a response from Scott. Alright, with that out of the way, the more hidden media, let's talk about the actual lost media. Starting with the trailer I'm sure you've all heard about by now. Supposedly, the first comment on the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 trailer is by a user named Wallmeat. They say this. I think this is an interesting angle for a horror game to take. I can sort of see why you changed the eyes from the last video, but I wouldn't hold too much stock in people who want to see spikes and daggers and blood and skulls and all that garbage just because the animatronics aren't scary enough. By that logic, Pennywise is just a clown and Chucky is just a doll. The fear of monstrous clowns and toys is rooted in the same soil as the fear of monstrous mascots and animatronics. So what was this first trailer or last video? Maybe a more overt and less subtle approach to the first trailer? Well, people started digging, and they found something. The only trace to another video or trailer was on Scott's Google Plus page, a now removed video just called Five Nights. For a long time, people thought that this was the lost trailer, the more overtly gruesome or scary version. However, Walmeat recently came out and said that he misspoke in that comment. He was actually talking about these images. There was no first trailer, at least that he was talking about. But then, what is the Five Nights video? The hunt goes on. So what's next? Well, a lot of these things might be interconnected, honestly, but this is something that happened before I knew about any of this stuff. I have a memory of a trailer on the Steam page for Five Nights at Freddy's 1, which was a compilation of a bunch of YouTubers getting scared and talking about how good the game was. I specifically remember a clip from Markiplier's second video where he says, This is probably one of the scariest games I have ever played. I've used the Wayback Machine, I've reached out to you guys on Twitter and on the Five Nights at Freddy's subreddit, and I've come up with nothing. Some people have brought some interesting things up, the Ultimate Custom Night trailer seems to fit this description pretty well. <laughs> Bird likes you. Thanks very much. But the Markiplier clip isn't in it, and obviously it's not for the first game, it's for Ultimate Custom Night. So in my search, I looked away from Steam and I went to the Wayback Machine on IndieDB, and I found something interesting. A video that is no longer up for the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 IndieDB page is a compilation of people getting scared by the first game. But this was before Markiplier ever even played it, and before most people even played it. Now, while this might not be the trailer that I'm thinking of, it does have some relevance here. First off, I saw no one bring this trailer up when I was asking people about it or in the hunt for the Five Nights trailer. Meaning, I think this does qualify as lost media, and I think this is probably the first time that this video has seen the light of the day in a long time. So I did discover some Five Nights at Freddy's lost media. Another thing, to me, is that the fact that this video exists and the Ultimate Custom Night trailer gives credence to the idea that this trailer with the Markiplier clip in it could exist. It sets a precedent that Scott Cawthon has made content like that before to advertise his games. However, it could also be that I'm just misremembering, considering that that Markiplier video I talked about is on the Steam Greenlight page, so I might just be combining two videos together in my head. But again, with the precedent of the other trailers, I think that it's possible this could still exist. 
Before we go, I want to shout out the Twitter account FNAF Lost Media. Now, while I cover the bigger, you know, lost trailers and stuff like that, FNAF Lost Media has a lot of interesting sort of hidden or rejected designs that may have never seen the light of day if it wasn't for that Twitter account. Merch designs, book covers, things like that that are really interesting for Five Nights at Freddy's fans. It seems like they've got some big announcement coming soon, so I definitely give them a follow. Alright, as far as I know, that's the only big official lost videos in Five Nights at Freddy's. Let me know if I missed out on anything in the comments, and if you make any breakthroughs about the trailer I've talked about, or this Five Nights video, or anything like that, uh, let me know on my Twitter. I might make a follow-up if enough has changed. Until then, I'll see you all next time. Thank you to the patrons for supporting the channel.